Alrighty, hello friends and welcome to today's video of what to do if your steam has been hacked this is what i had recently i'll show you here i've had i've got my steam back as you can see this is so weird not recording without a face cam as you can see here it says a phone was removed from your steam account recent changes your steam support basically what happened was someone came to me on steam saying that they'd accidentally reported my account for um false trading cards or something like that um so i was like that's okay that's fine and then they gave me a discord name to go and talk to that person i deleted all of the uh chats so i can't show them to you but um i believed it basically when you go in it th they'll change they'll do a number they will do an absolute number on your um steam account so as you can see here a phone was removed from your steam account recent changes to your account email address associated with your set has been successfully changed so they were trying to do an absolute number on my on my steam so if this happens to you all you need to do is you need to go to the support because um i'm not gonna lie even for me i i panicked i really panicked when i saw that they'd actually changed it without getting my password or anything which is really crafty of them they don't even need your password these days you, you'll click here you see like so if you if you see that your phone number has been changed or that your account has been sorry your email address has been removed you click here and you go click on support you go my steam account has been stolen and i need help recovering it it will give you some tips of what you can do um i tried following these but this is in my case the best thing you can do is it will um it will come up with this so you click down here reset my password because i've got mine back i won't ha i won't need to do this so i can just come out of it and whatever but you will you will have to type in your email address and your or your phone number so if i quickly if i quickly do that and say i'm not a robot um make sure to always click this and you <laughs> Yeah, you'll get this. Wow, amazing. Um, it's usually four when it comes to a capture thing. Or not. <laughs> okay, let's say, for example, I, I, I didn't have this, right? I didn't have it. Right, and then it says, text an account that will have your number on it. Um, and let's say, for example, I didn't have that number anymore. Or they've changed, they would have probably changed it. You would have to click here. I no longer have the access to this phone number. And then after a while, again, I no longer have, they will change your email as well. So you'll say that you don't have access to that email anymore. And then if I'm right in saying so, here, it will say, um, let's, let's say I typed in the password. Um, yeah, this account is, please try again. You'll go, I forgot my password and it will, it will bring you here right let's get you back into your account right this is this is the thing that you'll need so you'll have to go through some stages to get through it um so you'll type in your email address and whatnot um and then you'll say what is the username of your account hopefully they've not changed that if they have then i would have no idea where to go from there but usually they don't change the username um click it go from any email it says you can't remember the first one just give us the earliest email that you know that you've used on that account so if they have changed your email address just use the one that you were using prior to the one that they changed it from and do the same for the phone number if you've made any purchases on your on your steam account click obviously you you use what you've used and whatever um like a visa card or whatever and then type in what you have here and it's usually better to have a used paypal account with your steam because here they'll ask for the account number and they'll ask for an invoice id which for them i think works a lot better because at least they that there's like a valid invoice as a receipt for the thing that you purchased whereas obviously if you use this they won't ask for an id purchase or anything like that but then if you've not purchased anything in a while like i haven't i don't know like, like I, I said to them because when, when you even go down here see like have you added the cd card to your account whatever i've never done that so i would not and then you type in here the issue that you're having so for instance you can say something along the lines of um i've had my e um steam account hijacked 
they have re um, changed the above email and phone number. Um, I this is something along the lines that I said. Um, in fact, I can probably show you the thing that I said. <laughs> so this is everything that I've got here, um, and whatnot. So after you've after you've clicked and you've you've clicked send you know whatever like I said it's better if you've if you've done something through PayPal that's great because I'll ask for an invoice ID and I think that allows them to pinpoint it a bit easier if you've used a card um, nine times out of ten hopefully they've not used your card to buy something because a lot of hackers seem to think that you might not actually be able to get your your account back if they are quick enough to absolutely change everything your account has including the username because if they've changed the username then I, i'm pretty sure that's um gg but <laughs> um but like i said here it says i have had my account completely hijacked and can't access my account it changed the email address and phone number the ones given above so i cannot access my account um it'd been a couple of days usually they do get back to you within 24 hours um as you can see this was done about a week ago this is one of the reasons why i wasn't uploading anything um and what they will send you back is they will send you um a this will be completely different from anything that i've received so everyone's code will be each individual to them um so then you will give them this so request code is this you'll send them that and then they'll come back to you like i said um this was at 3 20 a.m on the 28th and then they got back to me within about four hours um so the best thing to do um obviously don't don't get me wrong get this in as soon as you possibly can but what i what i will suggest is if you do it at 3 20 a.m you'll get it like four hours later right so um it says here, thank you for contacting Steam. Unfortunately, some of the credit card information you provided do not match the records on this account. Because what I did say under here is I have not bought anything from, for Steam for a while. Um, but I will try to find a receipt. Um, that Obviously, they'll ask for the card for your address, for the last four digits of your card, and you know your valid day time number and whatnot. So obviously, I'm not going to show this, but obviously that's what I'd put here. But I did say here, I haven't bought anything on Steam for a while, but I will find a receipt. And then it says, thank you for providing us this information. This will help us determine that you do own the account. It appears that the account was compromised to prevent authorization. They'll just give you some, some details on how to actually protect your um, Steam account. The, the, this email confirms your Steam account has been successfully changed and they will send it to you. They'll give you some random password too. Obviously, you copy and paste that, you put that into your uh, Steam support. Uh, sorry your steam account and hopefully you know ho hopefully it will get you back into your steam once you've got back into your account please for the love of god <laughs> change your password right immediately and please what you do is you add a steam card a steam guard mo mobile authenticator which you can find um if you download steam on your phone and you log into your Steam account and then you see you'll see three lines on the top left of the screen and then you click on that and then you'll see you'll see Steam Steam Guard Mobile Authenticator or Guard Mobile Authenticator and then you set that up and then every time you go to log into your account it will come up for a request via your phone. So it's it's really handy to have um i took it i took it off i used to have it on but i i took it off because it was getting really annoying <laughs> um it is a bit long to do but if you really do want to make sure that your steam is perfectly safe then i suggest you do it but also the steam guard mobile authenticator is a good thing because if someone obviously might not be the same person but if someone else was to try and get into your account while you're not at home or anything like that and then on your mobile it comes up saying you know request to log into steam account then that would be a big like warning that someone's trying to get into your account and obviously um you might get an email coming up saying that you know someone has tried accessing your account or something like that and then you can say that that wasn't me 
and so and so and so forth i'm hoping that this helps people um this is kind of the first videos that um one of the first well, i say one of the first it is the first video where i'm trying to do like a step to step step to step tutorial on try to help make sure that you don't lose your account <laughs> because when i when i realized when i was halfway through the conversation with the person that was accessing my steam account because i genuinely believed someone had made a mistake of reporting my account and obviously because i've never had that before i was saying to them no it's perfectly fine don't worry about it you know all that kind of stuff and it wasn't until halfway through that i realized it was a scam that they they already had my account and it is it is very terrifying when you see that a phone mobile uh, a phone was removed from your account or recent changes have been made to your account you can go in and say if you did not authorize this change made from your loca located ip address country name whatever whatever then please change your steam password but by the time you get this they've probably already made changes and then it says use here for recovery link you'll get that email um and then it again it it will take you back through and then everything that i just showed you make sure you get this page though because this this form is literally the savior of your account is the best way i can describe it um i don't think this video is going to be too long um but hopefully it's helped i'm, I'm not going to say enjoy it because it's not <laughs> something you can enjoy i don't think but hopefully it's helped you and if it has i'm really i'm really happy about that but nevertheless i'll let you go about your day and i will see you another time bye